All right, so our ranger station is in Colorado, uh, overlooking Mills Lake. So it's up in the mountains somewhere. So that's why we have this steep sloping site here. If you can kind of take a look at it, I'll just scroll around. We have a really steep sloping site, um, and so we want to put that in as a part of our model to give it some sort of ground um, and, and some context. So what we're going to use is the topo surface command. And basically, the topo surface command is found on the massing and site tab. All right, and that's it basically right there, topo surface. And when I go in here, if I want to edit this surface, um, and I can kind of show you what it looks like. So what I did was uh, I created the topo surface. And if you remember, the topo surface is basically created by placing a series of little points, little dots. Um, and you put a dot at a certain elevation, and you put the next dot at another, ele you know, at a higher or lower elevation, and it creates a contour line um, between the two of them. So that's basically what we're going to do here on this project. <clears throat> now, if you go to um, Blackboard on our project here. Let's go to Blackboard. All right, and I'm in Lecture 7. And let's see, here it is. Ranger Station to uh, Topography Sketch uh, to be inserted into your Revit file. And so that's basically what we're looking for here. Ranger Station Topography Sketch. Uh, it's a JPEG image. And it looks... Hang on, there it is. So it looks something like this. So this is basically a hand-drawn sketch. What we're going to do is we're going to take that JPEG image, load it into our Revit file. So I'll show you how to put, insert a JPEG image into our Revit file. And then we're going to trace it uh, to create that topo surface. And we're going to tra trace basically all these contour lines. All right, so, and if I remember correctly, I also have this thing saved to my shared drive. Shared drive, instructors, Rick Rankmeyer. And let's see. Yep, Ranger Station Topo image. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna pick it. Yeah. Yep. So let me. Okay, so let me uh, get back to our Revit project. All right. So what you want to do when you do this, you're gonna do this in your site plan. All right. So down here, you should already have a default site plan created. So I'm gonna double click and I'll go to site plan. All right. That's the uh, old one. Let me delete that and get that out of here. Okay, so here's my site plan. I'm going to insert that image. So the first thing I want to do is go to the Insert tab, and we're going to insert image. So I go to the image thing here. So I go to image. All right, and then what you want to do is basically navigate your way to that uh, Ranger Station um, top, uh, topography image. All right, so I go to the folder, and I just select the JPEG, and I'm going to say Open. Okay, and so what I've got here is I move my cursor around. It basically wants me to place this thing in that model somewhere. All right, in the instructions, it tells you you want to place that center point, basically the center of that X on that image, at the intersection of column grids F and 4. So let me go back to my project file. All right, so see how my cursor is basically going to the center of the X? So I'm going to move that down here to the intersection of F4. Now, it's not going to snap, so uh, you just got to place it close. Close enough is good enough. So um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit and drop it right in. All right, so there's my topo surface. All right, and um, okay, there it is. The other thing too, it wants you to do is uh, scale it up. So this is too small. So what we want to do is scale it up three times. So I'm going to make this three times bigger. So to scale it, this is the scale command here uh, on the modify tab. So that's it, basically there. It shows like a small square then a larger square. Okay, so I select my image, and I go to the scale command. All right, and we don't want to do it um, numeric. Or I'm sorry, we do want to do it numerically instead of graphically, so I'm going to select the numeric uh, button, and I'm going to change that to 3. All right, and then basically what it needs is a center point. So it needs basically a center point to uh, expand that thing three times its size. Our center point is, of course, uh, the column grid F4, which is the center of our image. Now this time it will snap, so I'm going to snap to that image. All right, and then it basically expanded that uh, image, so it should look like this. So here's my building, here's my topography. All that good stuff. Okay. And then let's go over here. Let's go to our uh, massing and site tab right, to start our topo surface. All right, so before I do that, let me just kind of go back to our instructions. So what it's telling us here in the instructions is um, it says begin by setting your elevation at negative 4 feet. So our first contour line is going to be uh, at negative 4 feet. And then each additional contour line is uh, is two feet lower than the next. All right, so this is our high side up here in the upper left-hand corner. 
this is our low side here. So we're going to start at negative four feet and go down two feet every time uh, for every contour. So let me just show you how that's done there. All right, so topo surface, go into sketch mode. No to sketch mode. All right, so we're going to start placing points. My first point is going to be at negative four, negative four feet. Okay, and what I'm going to do is zoom in a little bit on this um, contour line. Now it doesn't have to be super exact, and they don't have to put a ton of little dots on there. All right, so click there, 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 there. All right, so these are all at negative four, and I'm just basically kind of just trying to get something close to that contour line. The next one is going to be uh, two feet lower, so that's going to be uh, negative six, and follow those contour lines. All right, then the next one is going to be negative eight, two feet lower, and that one's down here. So this one isn't particularly challenging, it's just time consuming. The other thing to keep in mind here too is that I'm going to be drawing this for a while. I'm going to draw in, you know, this may take me, let's say, 20 minutes to draw this whole contour, right? Or 30 minutes. In that time, a lot of things can happen. Like the ceiling could fall down, hit you in the head, knock you out. Uh, somebody could come by, snatch the, the the wires out of the back of your computer. Anything can happen. But what happens basically if I if there's some sort of error and my computer crashes, I've just lost basically like 20 minutes worth of work. So the thing I would suggest doing is is uh, every so often is saving is hit finish. All right, even though it's not completely done, finish, hit save. <clears throat> then get back into it and start drawing it again. So just in case, because I've seen it, 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 it has happened a couple times where... Yeah, sorry, yeah, finish is the check mark. So let me select that surface again. There it is. All right. Um, yeah, so you hit finish. That's, yeah, the green check mark, that finishes it. And then just go up and hit save real quick to uh, save the file. Then when you want to get back into it, select the topo surface again, go back to edit surface, and just pick up right where you left off again uh, at those points. Now another thing you'll notice here too is as I sort of kind of work my way down, the topo surface is covering up the uh, the actual contours, the, you know, that image map, map in the back. So my suggestion to you guys would be hit finish real quick, one of those times when you're saving, select your topo surface and make it, let's make it transparent. Let's make it, uh, or, a, or at least a little translucent, right? So um, you may remember uh, from our Let's see, which, which one was it? I guess maybe we haven't done that in this class. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select the topo surface. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say override graphics and view. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, you may have to tab too. It's a little bit difficult to select. So I'm going to, if I'm kind of close to it and hit tab, you just kind of got to wait till it highlights a little bit. Or, you know, the other way, if, you, if you're finding that it, there's a bunch of things on top of each other, you could just do a lasso and select a bunch of stuff and then use your filter down here to filter out, you know, the raster image. And say, okay, and now I've got my topo surface. All right, so let's take that topo surface. I'm going to make it invisible or, you know, translucent. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to go override graphics and view by element. So I'm going to override the graphics basically of that element. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is surface transparency. I'm going to change that, and I'm going to change that to about 80%. Let's do that. All right, so I go to surface transparency, make it about 80% transparent. I'm going to say OK. And so that way you can see through it. So I can see the topo surface, but I can also see the parts in the back. So that's going to help you guys when you're, when you're drawing those contours um, when you finish them. So it takes a while, though. It'll take you a while to kind of get down there all the way down to... Um, the bottom here. The other thing too is you can turn off your, um, oops, sorry. You can also, once you get into these contours here, the building's going to be kind of in the way. So you can kind of guesstimate where those contours are, or the other thing to do is go into visibility graphics by typing in VV and just turning off all your model categories. So if I select all and uncheck them all, then the building goes away. Oops, so does everything else. Whoops. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, uh, go back to visibility graphics. Um, select all, turn everything off, uh, but turn back on topo surface, or sorry, topography, 
and that image should be still in there. Say okay. Oh, darn it, there's a way of doing this. Sorry. I guess you just turn off the roofs and floor. You can just go into visibility graphics. And I'm going to just turn my floors off. Alright, I'm going to turn my roofs off. Hopefully you'll be able to see down through the middle of that um, building. There you go. Yeah, so you can kind of see it there. So if you turn your floors and your roofs off in visibility graphics, then you can see down through your building and you're able to pick up those contour lines. So again, to make the, the uh, topo surface invisible, select the topo surface, right click, override graphics and view by element, and then surface transparency, and then change it to something like about 80, 80% 80 or something like that. And that should do it. Then once you're finished, then turn it back to um, 0%. All right, so let me back out of this for a second. Let me go back to my old topo surface. So when you finish, let's just go back to, let me just close this one and then open it up again. So when you're finished, your topo surface should look like this, this kind of steep sloping site. Uh, and it comes in this lovely shade of brown, uh, which you may or may not like. Um, it looks like a little bit like mud. So um, what you may want to do is change the change the material of that topo surface. So to change that material to like say something like grass, something that's a little bit less muddy, um, what I'm going to do is I'm select the topo surface, and material is up here on the uh, properties. So once it's selected, you can go to material, and I'm going to pick my three little buttons here, the three little dots. All right, and I'm going to type in grass up here in the uh, search. There it is. I got site grass. Um, if I don't like that particular one, I can just load one in. So this is these are the uh, materials that I have the ability to load in. So I'm going to hit the up arrow. That'll load that guy in. And I'm going to say I'll just go to site grass, and I'm going to hit OK. Now my material is site grass, and I unselect or I deselect it. And now it looks a little bit more green. And this looks nice in your in your 3D view. So if I go to one of my 3D views from the exterior, let's go to consistent colors. That looks a lot nicer than that uh, brown mucky color. Um, all right, so that is basically your topo surface. So once you've got your topo surface created, I want to show you one other thing here. If I scroll around and I look in here. See how I've got this nice cutout in the topo surface, like this tight. Um, so basically, the uh, I've got this nice cutout there that that has basically the the contours basically stop at the edge of there. So let me delete that. This is probably what's going to look like when you guys first draw yours. Um, you're going to have it look like a mudslide happened basically, and a bunch of mud just kind of slid into that uh, under that garage there. So what I want you want to do is create a building pad. And we probably haven't done the building pad yet in the, in this class yet. So essentially, what the building pad is is you might as well just call it like the backhoe command because it's basically like a a, um, a giant backhoe that basically, whenever they're building a project, um, they want to clear away some of the dirt. And like for example, if you have a basement or something like that, you want to go in there and dig out some of that dirt so that you can place your basement in there. So what the pad command does is it cuts a hole in your uh, topo surface so that so that it basically clears all this soil or, or uh, topography out of that um, out of that O1 parking service level. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my site plan. All right, so start in your site plan, and let me hide this image. At this point, once you created your topo surface, you could always just delete it because you don't need it anymore. And then, um, so here's my topo surface. Oops, I accidentally dragged that. And I'm going to go to the uh, massing and site. And here's building pad right here. So there's building pad. I click on building pad. All right, so now I'm in this. What I want to do is basically trace the outside of my um, O1 parking service level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. Now that I'm in to now that I'm in sketch mode, I'm going to switch to my O1 parking service level, and I'm just going to create basically a little rectangle around the outside uh, at the perimeter walls there. That's a, it's a, it's that simple. Basically, you just draw a real rectangle that goes around the outside edges of your um, of your O1 parking service level, and then hit finish. Then I go back to my 3D view, and now I can see there 
I've created that topo sir or that pad and it's basically cut out of um, all that soil that's in the in the parking garage all right so that is the building pad uh, another thing and this is just optional on this project you don't have to do this but let me go to fine detail and change my color up to um, consistent colors all right so here is my building site um, and there may be, you know, it seems like there that, that there may be paths or things like that that are leading up to this building, or at least a, a driveway that goes up to this building. So another thing you can do on here is go to the subregion, and essentially what this does is it allows you to kind of you draw this in 2D, and what it does is then it projects it down on top of that topo surface, and it'll create a driveway or something like that. So as you can see here in the little illustration, you draw a magenta line in sketch mode and it will create a topo surface on there or it'll it'll create a new material on your topo surface so let's do subregion sketch mode all right and i'm going to start up here and let's just say there's a, a a driveway into the building that way and let's do that and it's going to be about 12 feet wide and going to follow that contour up there, so go to there, to there. Oops, had my offset on. All right, and it's got to be closed loop. All right, and then we got to pick a material for it, so let's go with like uh, either concrete or asphalt. Let's try concrete real quick. So this is basically what I'm drawing is like a concrete drive that goes up to there. So concrete, hit OK. Now when I hit finish, what it did is it created a concrete driveway. So let me show you what it looks like basically. And what that does, I drew it in 2D and it just projects it right down on top of that topo surface. So it takes care of all that contour and all that uh, um, good stuff for you already. So that's another thing. This is optional, not necessarily a part of the assignment, but um, as you're kind of dressing this up, it looks a lot nicer in those 3D views um, when you've got that, you know, a little bit of differentiation in the materials on the site. But So that is basically the basics of the um, uh, topo surface and creating that. And again, it's, it's simple stuff. It's just a little time consuming.